It's time for a fixed time schedule. It's really easy, folks. If you have a stimulus that is, has known properties of being reinforcing, um, then when you just have to put that thing on a time schedule, you fix it like every four minutes, every 10 seconds, every 30 seconds, whatever it is that you choose, you could deliver this known stimulus that or the stimulus that happens to be reinforcing, at least it has been in the past. You could deliver that at a fixed time. So every 10 seconds, every 30 seconds. But here's the thing that's weird about a fixed time schedule. It is independent of the learner's behavior. And the reason I went learners is because I was worried about using a human and non-human example, but learners works for both. So you could do a fixed time schedule and deliver, I don't know, pellets of food to your dog at, at every 10 minutes, independent of what they're doing. And who knows what the heck it's going to produce. You never know what you're gonna end up reinforcing. In fact, it's the most popular way of delivering non-contingent reinforcement because functionally speaking, it is. You're delivering a, st delivering a stimulus that has in the past been proved to be reinforcing, but you're doing it non-contingently. And in this case, you're doing it on a fixed schedule, fixed time schedule.